Now, what is an enrichment medium is an important question. All of them, selenite, f broth, monsoon, stodocolate, telluride, peptone water, alkaline, peptone water, they are all the ones which will enable organisms to grow typically and uh, making it a enriched medium. <clears throat> then, uh, uh, blend agar typically is called which kind of a medium? A growth medium you call it as differential when specific microbes are present and uh, there will be some color change and blood agar is a differential growth medium mainly to differentiate the various types of the streptococci into alpha hemolytic, beta hemolytic etc etc. So it should be a differential medium fundamentally uh, yes but the terms are very interchangeable blood agar is an enriched medium to enable organisms to grow and while they are growing they cause partial complete no hemolysis accordingly you can differentiate it also them also into alpha beta and uh, uh, gamma hemolytic hence it can be called both enriched because it enable growth and differential because it can differentiate between different kinds of streptococci is what need to be fundamentally remembered now coming to the bacteria, more than 1 lakh colony forming units per ml in the midstream urine, you basically call it as uh, bacteria is what need to be remembered. Now doctor, should be one confident answer. <clears throat> Assaultiveness, belligerence, psychosis, a vertical and a horizontal nystagmus with hypertension, with ataxia, with seizures, with delirium is typically seen with which a substance of abuse, intoxication and we use acidification of the urine in order to get rid of that substance. Excellent doctor. Fencyclidin, fencyclidin. Yes. Dr. Sri and Anuja propose which Monday from the forthcoming Monday that is December, November 5th you have a schedule on the home page of online mbbs.com a 19 week program um, as a winter session to review quickly one after the other subjects those who already enrolled with us are all welcome free to attend the session um, the idea is to quick summary and review and once more we released the next Saturday Sunday schedule uh, Saturday subject test and uh, Sunday full length uh, grand test of NEET PG pattern schedule already had been released on the home page of online mbbs.com now doctor give me one confident answer that's right fencyclidin very good fencyclidin vertical horizontal nystagmus assaultiveness, belligerent, psychosis and violence, they all need to be remembered. Then LSD, if they take, they will have a heightened sense of colors which become very intense. They will have marked amount of depression, anxiety, delusions and hallucinations and flashback phenomena. And in marijuana, there will be euphoria, impaired judgment, emotivational syndrome, one of the favorite questions of the examiner. Steam under pressure is the one which is used in order to uh, carry on the sterilization. Pasteurization of the milk, phosphatase test is the one which is used. This is the favorite question of the examiner doctor. I can bet it, every paper morning or evening session of the forthcoming need PG you will have a question on blue bag, black bag, yellow bag, red bag, baba baba black sheep, have you any bag, which bag has sharp needles, which bag has anatomical waste, you have to be 100% sure because SPM is sleep promoting medicine, 
and you need to master these issues whether you like to sleep or whether you are insomniac these things will drain your brain but ultimately in uh, hospital management all these bags general knowledge is important for the public safety okay doc we use warning colors for the hazardous waste what is the warning color any time red color yellow color orange color blue green are called positive colors whenever you recycle the material and reuse it we use the neutral colors for the normal waste which is the black color basically so doctor yellow color plastic bags where do you use anatomical waste animal waste microbiological waste and soiled waste one more way of asking question some of today evening uh, only you have to fix up with your friends how to remember these things tomorrow in the exam hall when these questions arise 1 2 3 anatomy animals microbiology category 6 is the soiled waste then you have a red disinfected uh container plastic bags in which category 3 6 and 7 are placed you have a blue or white bag which is a plastic bag which is puncture proof container in which the sharp waste disposable tubings discarded medicines incineration ash and chemical waste are placed so these are the few things any entrance kutti kutti book will be able to give you all these details no big deal but how to remember and reproduce which category is what and which category goes into which bag you have to remember there is no way now in auto claving what we do 121 degrees is the temperature for which uh, you will be uh, heating for about 3 minutes i mean for at least 15 minutes or 134 degrees 3 minutes either of them you can be able to set uh, the hot air uh, i mean uh, the sterilization ethylene oxide is used for the operation theater uh, fumigation all the glass syringes it is a hot air oven which is very very important in order to sterilize them what do i mean by cold sterilization you use an ionizing radiation which doesn't generate the heat but kills is basically called cold sterilization where x rays gamma rays and cosmic rays they won't cause any rise of the temperature but at the same time they are capable of creating the sterilization is what need to be remembered anatomical waste fundamentally by incineration particularly medical waste incineration incinerator will be available in every hospital to know the efficacy of autoclaving what do we use we use bacillus stereothermophilus in order to know the efficacy basically and autoclaving for how long 121 degrees for about 15 minutes is what need to be remembered